Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my weekly makeup basket and product pan for you. This is a little collab that I'm doing with my girl Amanda based off of Becky Love's Kangas project on her channel. I'm going to have them both linked down below if you want to go check them out and show them some love. And let's get into the makeup basket. Starting with primer, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. It's, um, it's not my favorite, but I am going to use it. And I also have the Benefit The Professional. This one I am not going to touch until Friday. It is going into a project, which you'll see the intro on Friday. So this is going to be in the basket, but I won't touch it until Friday. Okay, moving on to foundation. I have two. I have the Franken foundation that I love. I actually had to mix a new batch because I'm not as dark as I was a couple of weeks ago and I was running out so I have a slightly different shade of Franken foundation for this week and I also have my It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation in medium again not my favorite but I am making it work all right moving on to concealer I am sticking with the Julep Cushion Complexion and this is the 5-in-1 Skin Perfector in buff Yep, been using that like crazy, and I'm probably going to keep it in here until it is done because, you know, I want to get something moved up and moved, used up and moved out. Always with the words. All right, two powders this week. My Franken powder, which is the e.l.f. Uh, the high definition powder, shimmer Franken powder that I just pressed into this little compact, and the tinted mineral veil from Bare Minerals. That I use with the Celebration Foundation. All right, let's get on to the rest of my face. Um, my bronzer, I'm actually going to be using a Franken bronzer, which I can't show you because I have it pressed into my Naked 3 palette, but rest assured my bronzer is in there. And because I've been on this big Franken kick lately, I, I get through these stages where I just want to Franken everything. I created a new Franken blush. Hopefully the camera will pick up what it looks like. I am loving this. I actually have it on my cheeks right now as the lighting adjusts, but I love it. I have created this with some blushes, some eyeshadows, and a bunch of other things. And y'all are going to think it's crazy, but I actually threw a little bit of black heart in there. Not much, not much, just to give it a little depth. And I love it. I absolutely love it. So yeah, I have black heart on my cheeks right now with a lot of other things. All right, moving on because it's not about Franken products right now. To the eyes. I have a lot of eye stuff. Let me pull them out of my drawer here because it's a lot. I am going to start with the stuff that I have in Throwing Shade because this is going into the week where I would use all three palettes. And I have, I have a lot of stuff. Um, the Be A Bombshell Bora Bora Quad. I'll be using that only for one look, and that's the day that I film my throwing shade update. I will be using at least one shade from each of these. This is the Coastal Sense Model Behavior Quad. And I also have the e.l.f. Prism Eyeshadow Palette in Smoke. Try not to blind you with that mirror. So I need to create a look with those three palettes and I can bring in other stuff to work with it. All right, moving on to the rest of my eye stuff. Of course, I have my Naked 3 because, well, it's not done. I have my Too Faced Bonbons palette, but I'm only working on Divinity in here. And let's see, oh, I forgot my Conceal palette. That's gonna be in with my other concealers. So. It's in a palette, so it kind of got mixed in with my palette stuff. I tried to confuse myself. All right, so that is it for powder eyeshadow. I have... Everything is out of order here. The whole, the whole video is out of order. It happens. Um, let's see. I forgot to show you my highlighter because it's in my eyeshadow drawer. I will be using that as well as this highlighter from Benefit. I am just a scattered mess today. <sighs> I know Amanda's watching this and she understands what's going on with me, but um, suffice it to say, uh, <laughs> my life has been a train wreck this week and I'm just trying to keep it together here, folks. Trying to keep it together. All right, moving on now that I am just a hot mess. 
my eye makeup, the rest of my eye makeup, I'm going to be using this Laura Geller Waterproof Eye Spackle. And I'm going to be using the Bare Minerals 5-in-1 in, in Sweet Spice for my darker looks. I should have used that today because I do have a darker look in my eyes, but I did not. I did not. I wasn't thinking. And if you're wondering what I have on, I actually have Blackheart on and Zion Vistas, which um, I'll be showing you here in a second. This right here is Zion Vistas. It's a Coastal Scents pigment that they don't make anymore. It was a loose pigment that I had pressed. So that's Blackheart with that Zion Vistas over top. But these are the shadows that I'm going to be adding in my singles. Um, these two from Coastal Scents Hot Pots, Peach Puff, and Oktoberfest. Two of the, see, brain, uh, pigments. <sighs> I'm a mess today, guys. I'm so sorry. And these four Colorista shades right down here. And the brown gel liner. Uh, I'm a mess. All right, the Smudge Pot from e.l.f. in Ain't That Sweet. And, of course, my two toppers in Soiree and Toast from e.l.f. Two more eyeliners. Three more eyeliners because I forgot another one. I'm so unprepared, folks. Black Silk from Lord & Barry. In the Navy from NYC. And then the White from NYC. For my brows, I'm working on the e.l.f. Eyebrow Pencil in Deep Brown. And the Hema Brow Gel. And on its last legs is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. I know I said it was on its last legs last week, and it's still going. And I'm expecting it to just die on me any day, but it hasn't done that yet. So I'm going to use it as long as I can. I am going to be also using the Ulta Beauty Matte Makeup Setting Spray. And for lips, let's get into the lips, and then maybe we can make some sense out of this mess today. The Burt's Bees Pomegranate Lip Balm. This is the Darling Girl Balm Gloss 3D in All I Want for Christmas. Two lip pencils this week. The Jordana Plum Lip Pencil that is in my Rockin' Christmas or Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree Project Pan. And the Buxom Big Healthy Lipstick in Vienna. I have a Tarte Gloss that's just a basic pink gloss has no name and I have two Estee Lauder lipsticks I have nectarine and sugar honey and let me show you what those look like they probably look pretty similar on screen but they are very very different um, in real life and I like them both sugar honey is one of my absolute favorites so that's why it is in here and again, Sugar Honey is in the same project as the Benefit Primer. I will not use that until Friday. Let's see. Everything else I think is fair game. I think so. I think so. Let's get on to it. The product pan, because if I don't get on to it, then this video is going to be forever long. I had this blue eyeshadow from my Coastal Sense 88 palette. I used this once last week because I have an almost identical color that I am trying to pan right now so I didn't want to shoot myself in the foot but I did use it once and uh, I feel good about that. All right let's get on to the new product. Let me unlock my phone real quick. Get to random.org and we will figure out what product I'm going to be getting for this week. I have 987 products that I am going to choose from and let's see if I can actually generate this on the first try. My screen is filthy. I apologize for that. 101. I feel like I might have gotten that one before but I could be wrong. I have a lot of numbers. 101. Nope, I've had 105. 101 is a different palette and it's an eyeshadow. Go figure. This is from the BH Cosmetics B from Bub's Beauty palette, which I have right down here. Let me pull that out. Okay, I have the palette. Here it is. It's B by Bub's Beauty. This is a BH Cosmetics. And the shadow is Confident. It's a pretty color. And it is this purple shade right here. I think I can work with that. 
I like purples and I have a purple that I am working on panning right now that is significantly lighter. It's actually close to this color kind right here. So clearly they're going to work well together. I'm happy about this one. I will probably wear this purple shade quite frequently over the next week. So I'm good with that. I am, a, I'm very sorry that this has been so scattered. I am a mess today, folks. I really am. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be a little bit better. But anyway, check out my girls. Check out Amanda and check out Becky. They're going to be linked down below and hopefully they'll make a little bit more sense in their video. <laughs> Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.